Aloha, I'm Reverend Cindy Palos. And as I reflect over the last year, maybe two years, and look ahead to the coming year, I thought I'd go down a list of 10 things and 10 lessons that I have learned over this last year or two and reflect on them with you. And some might be similar to what you also found is true. And as we reflect on those lessons and things, hopefully we can uh, learn enough so that the coming years will um, be easier and we'll be more prepared to deal with things we have to deal with. Now, I would have to say always meditation, number one, how important meditation is. I already knew how important meditation is. I meditate every day. But through this tumultuous roller coaster ride we've been going through, it's been such a lifesaver to be able to go within and start the day and be present and connect and be strong and set my inner compass to do what I wish to do and to have that focus for meditation. I have to always say meditation is so powerful, but through these last couple of years especially, it's been so helpful to overcome stress and worry and to also get inspiration um, that can be the gift that comes when you're going through hard times. So, yes, meditation, number one, so important. Meditate every day. So that's number one. Number two, I would say, life is precious. Make the most out of every day. Now, I don't know about you, but I have had quite a few friends who have passed away over the last two years and some very dear loved ones as well that were part of the family. So we know that we all die and we have to always reevaluate our way we think about death. But I think one of the best lessons that death can give us is to make us appreciate life more. Every day is precious. Every day is an opportunity to do something that makes you feel that you're glad to be alive. So take the time to always remember when you start your day how precious this life really is. How amazing and miraculous every single breath you take is. Don't take your life for granted. Life is just too very precious to let it slip away without being grateful for every single day. Um, the next one I would say is an important one. Wow. Number three, love more. Love more. Love yourself more. Love God more. Love your neighbor more. Love your family more. And tell everyone you know that you love them more. This is something almost everyone who faces death has been aware of. I mean, almost anyone that is going through that dying process always realizes how important expressing that love is. That love is something that we all crave, that we all need. We all need love. And so it's so such a great lesson to remember to tell people and yourself that you love yourself and you love them. Just love more. And of course, I have to include in these reflections and lessons, stay healthy. We never, ever realized how we were thinking we'd all be fine 
until COVID hit. And then all of a sudden, my gosh, you realize how important your health is. And so many people who got COVID still have issues they have to deal with. And so many people thought they were healthy and then they got COVID and some died from it. And our health is so very important. It's hard to do what we need to do if we have health issues. And many people, I think more than ever, of course, I, I haven't read the st statistics, but I'm sure there have been more health issues in these last couple of years than ever before. So we have to really be disciplined and dedicated towards making ourselves as healthy as possible. Next one I'd say would be, and it's kind of long health, exercise, exercise, exercise every day. But don't just exercise. I mean, all exercise is great. So yes, exercise is great. But I would say take walks. Take walks in nature. Take walks in parks, take walks where you can allow yourself to experience the healing power of nature. The beauty of all of nature is so restorative and so important. So take walks. I walk every day. It's one of my favorite times of the day. I usually walk in the afternoon. I try to walk in the park and I'm so blessed to be here on Maui. And I have these beautiful pictures I can take. And it's such a blessing. So walk every day. I would also add another one to this list. Trying. No, I'm going to take that out and I'll say try. Be. Be aware that the country has lots, and not just the country, the world has lots of different beliefs right now. And this came very much in our face over COVID and the vaccinations. And people are very split in their beliefs. So I would say, do your best to be aware that many people don't believe as you do and try to find a common ground and don't push buttons by saying things you know that might get people angry. That common ground is so important. I think more than ever we've found we have to try to not go into conflicts and to try to find that common ground. And we can, in, especially in communications, there are skills you can learn in finding a common ground that will actually bring bonds and understanding rather than anger and fights. And that common ground is something that I think we need to learn more and more of as a skill. I wish it was taught in school. Wouldn't that be wonderful if they taught children in school to not do things that got people's buttons pushed, to get them angry, but instead trying to find things that we can communicate with that bring us together? So on that list, that would be find a common ground. The next one would be Watch out for fear. Fear works in very insidious ways. Fear over the last few years of COVID, fear of losing jobs, fear of needing money, fear of maybe losing your home because there's been so many home prices that have gone up, fear of being able to afford to live the way you want to live. Fear has been one of the most challenging things that we've had to face, and sometimes daily in our lives. And fear is not always clear. I wish fear was clear, but instead fear works in kind of hidden ways that we don't necessarily see or understand. Fear takes us by surprise and all of a sudden we're doing certain things we're not even aware we're doing because of fear. So that fear can paralyze us and fear can eliminate the love that we have and fear can cause anger. 
Fear can cause many awful things, including disease and worry and things that are really bad for you. So fear is 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 a thing you have to have a very careful watch over. You need to watch out for fear. And so when you sense that fear, when you notice and monitor yourself and realize you're acting out of fear, try to stomp it out and completely eliminate it when it happens. Because you don't want it to become a habit. You don't want it to be able to live in you. So you need to send some love and deal with it when you encounter it. Another one I'd include in this list would be stay in the present. Be here now. This is a really good antidote to worry because when you're worrying, you're actually very concerned about what's going to be happening in the future. And sometimes they say when you're depressed, you're thinking about what may have happened in the back, past. But if you stay here now in the present, you almost, almost 100% of the time, in the present, right now, right here, you can deal with what's happening. If you start to think, what am I going to do if, and you start to think ahead, it is so easy to get overwhelmed. And most of the time, it doesn't take much to actually realize that you don't know what's going to happen in the future anyway. You can only be here now. And if you take it to the next level of being here now, every moment is now. And as you get skillful at being here now, you can deal with everything when you are here now. So be here now. And the last one I'd include on this list of my 10 things and reflections that I've learned, lessons I've learned, and things I wish to put to work for me in the coming year would be being thankful. Just be aware of your blessings Be aware of how lucky you are. There are so many people who would just love to have some of the gifts you have. You have so many gifts compared to so many people in the world. You have so many blessings you've been giving. You have so much to be grateful for. And when you're grateful you flip on a light switch and that light switch brings light into your mind and brain and your whole being. It literally makes you feel better and it can actually cure depression. So it's such a wonderful, simple thing to do, but just be grateful. So with these 10 lessons that have been learned are 10 wonderful tools that you can use for the coming year that will also make your life better. And I know that we all have gone through so, so much. And what we have to realize is sometimes when it's the times that are tough, the times that are really hard, is when we really learn the most. And we are here on this planet to live and learn. So now we know that we've learned a lot because we had to. And now that we've learned a lot with these wonderful lessons, We can be grateful for that as well and use these as tools to make our life a better life. So here's to a wonderful, wonderful new year. And here's to a wonderful chance to put all these lessons that we've learned to work in our life so we can enjoy life more and make our life the life we wish to live. God bless you on your journey always. And thank you so much for being here.